I wanted to ask you, where did the name Exhibit come from? Like, what's the history mm. of that name? Oh, interesting. So um, my first rap name when I first started rapping was ICE. And then I was like, you know, like at the time, it was like Ice Cube, Ice Tea, you know, Vanilla Ice, all these other ices that were out there. I was like, I can't use that. And so then I started like, oh, my name's Alvin. So let's do MCA, you know? And I was like, can't do that. That's a record label. That's a, you know, that's one of the Beastie Boys. Like I, I can't, I can't use MCA. And so at the time, MC was in front of everybody's name. And so I was like, okay, so let me, let me go somewhere else. And so as I was trying to, to do this, I was still freestyling. And it was a guy named David and Tony that used to like beatbox in my high school. And so I would always battle these guys. They would be, David would beatbox for, for David. And I mean, David would beatbox for Tony and they would just house everything because Tony was like saying, saying things off the radio. So I would just come in and do my original written stuff. And so one day I was like exhibit A and, and one of my freestyles. And, and then one of my friends was like, yo, that's that, that's it. That's that's a stick that, you know, that exhibit A line. So I started using exhibit A and I spelled it the way it was supposed to be spelled. Um, with the E. And so once Ebonics came into play, I was like, okay, cool. Let me, uh, let me drop the A and just put an X. And then that's how exhibit was born, the X and the Z. And so that's how I kind of came up with it because MCs was just all over the place. And I was tired of, you know, doing things that people kept, you know, coming up with. And I want to be totally original. So I went to the end of the alphabet and chose the X and the Z to say exhibit.